Hello you guys, it's Christina. Three videos in one week? Unheard of, absurd. But yesterday I uploaded a video testing out and comparing two different aids designed to help you put your socks on. And if you've seen that video, I gave this, the sock aid, a very scathing review. I told you guys not to buy it, that it was hard to use, and that this is clearly the better option. Then I uploaded the video and you guys came through and told me in very nice words that I'm a total idiot and I used this incorrectly, completely incorrectly, which I kind of thought maybe I was because it just, it seemed like it was way too bad at doing its job to still be on the market. So I realized that I was gonna have to retest this the correct way, put it through all of the same tests that I did before, and then see if it changes any of my thoughts or opinions on the product. Now, to be fair, this item did not come with a whole lot of instruction, and even though it looks pretty straightforward, clearly you can still make user errors, and that happens, and that's why I'm testing these products, so that you guys don't have to. <laughs> this is all they gave me for instructions, and I would like to point out that the pictures are printed in black and white and almost impossible to actually see which is a total shame because I know that most of the people using this are probably elderly. There's no way that they can see these pictures if I can't. I know my vision's not great, but it's not that bad. Well, anyway, let's get to the testing part. Okay, so last time I put this to the test in three different ways and Obviously, it didn't work very well. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to repeat those three tests and see if I get a different outcome. The first test was how it performs with just your run-of-the-mill everyday sock. So I'm gonna give that a try first. So it turns out, all you have to do is put the sock on like you're putting it on your foot. Make sure I get the toe all the way down to the tip, like this. And now, from what I understand, we have to just put it on the floor, like so, put your toes into the device and push them all the way down to the tip, and then just pull up on the strings. Well, shoot, that worked extremely well, definitely much better than the last time, and actually did a better job than the sock slider did. I'm honestly embarrassed how easy that was. I'm gonna do it one more time just to make sure. Putting it on the floor, placing my foot in, and pulling up. Wow, that is pretty impressive. Okay, well that performed really well, so it's time to put it to the second test. Now the second test is how this is going to perform when my leg is in its immobilizing brace. If you watched my last video, the sock slider did get it on, but not perfectly. And the sock aid, obviously I had trouble since I was doing it wrong. So I'm really curious to see if this could actually help me. So my leg is now completely immobilized. I can't bend it and I can't reach and touch my toes. One thing that I still really appreciate about the sock slider is that it comes with that little handle and it makes it so much easier to place it where you need it to go and to hold it steady. Got my foot in here. I'm just gonna pull up. Okay, that was so much easier than before and much easier than the sock slider. I am eating all of my words and I am seriously impressed. It didn't pull it up and over the lip of the bottom of the brace, but that's totally fine. I kind of didn't expect it to. I am so shocked. Okay, well, starting to love this product so i am really curious to see how this holds up to the next test if you guys remember from my last video the third test was compression socks and i definitely had a lot of trouble neither of the sock aids really helped me to get these on because they're just so tight so i've got my compression socks loaded onto the sock aid and i gotta say it wasn't really a very easy process it was quite difficult to feed it on. Like I said in my last video, I have very small feet and this is a very tight compression. So it might not be ideal for testing, but I'm going to try. 
I already have more confidence that this is going to work better than it did in our last trial because this time I was actually able to get the toe to the tip of the device. If this works, I am going to be so excited. So here goes nothing. Please work, please work. Oh my gosh. I can't believe that actually worked and that worked so well. Not even the sock slider was able to get this thing on like this. And I feel like this would also work for longer stockings as well. Like you guys saw, this pipe really allowed me to pull it all the way up with really minimal effort. Okay, this is amazing. I take back everything. I love this. I want to see what this does with my compression sleeve that doesn't have any foot. So it didn't put it on right exactly where I need it to go, but it's pretty darn close. Honestly, I just tried it once, so I could probably get the hang of this. I am so sorry that I gave you guys such false information on these. I'm starting to think that I might actually like this better than the sock slider. I think the only thing that the sock slider really has on this is the fact that it has that handle to help you lower it down into the right place. I'm so glad you guys spoke up and told me I was doing it wrong and that I gave this thing a second shot. So, I clearly made a mistake. This thing is actually a great product. It worked very well for what I needed it for. And honestly, I think it worked better than the fancy sock slider. I feel so bad that I gave this such a terrible review in my last video. I told you guys explicitly not to purchase this item. And now I am telling you this is a great product. I'm definitely using this thing to put on any of my compression garments. But now I'm like, I totally trashed this thing so badly. Should I take down my other video? What do I do? And I've decided that I'm gonna leave the other video up. It was a first time test. Like I said, user errors happen and that's part of the process. I just hope that people find this video after watching that one so that they're not getting incorrect information. But hey, what can I do? I'm definitely gonna link this down below for you guys. I'll also link the sock slider one and the other video so you can watch that. Super sorry if I confused you guys or talked you out of buying a potentially helpful product. All I can do is hope that this video makes up for it. So that's that. If you want to see me review more weird spoony items, hopefully the right way, then give me a thumbs up and leave any suggestions in the comments. I also make weekly vlogs and some general educational videos so if you're interested in that you can like and subscribe and hit that bell if you want notifications when i upload and until then i'll see you guys later bye